buy a house. Appreciate anyone watching this that's here right now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, y'all. We made it past 150 subscribers, and I appreciate y'all. If y'all were here for, before that, comment down. I'll try and shout y'all out if I can. Make sure you check out the description too for the, my links uh, to a live stream with the face cam, my socials, my PSN user, also my playlist. I'm gonna check that shit out, y'all. Don't forget to comment down any game you guys would like to see me play. Also, any movies or TV shows that you guys would recommend me and my family to watch. If you guys want more, no more context on that, just go to the, one of my past videos at the end part. And there should be some explanations there. If you can't, try and look at at least two Excuse videos me, at sir. the end. Cause you work here? Who, no, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this. this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Mm. Which house do you want? Each mm. one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. Take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <gasps> Mr. Martin? What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. <laughs> I know the quickest way. Follow me. friend a negro or a redskin i think a bit of both for what it's worth <laughs> cash is cash so it's all the same to me i saw you getting skittish there but don't you worry we're not getting shot at oh yeah i know charles smith if he's got cause to be concerned it's usually good cause you got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you <laughs> now suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable? Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools? What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. 
But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. <laughs> hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What were you saying? Yeah. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Yeah. Am I finally gonna meet this? And then, surprise, guy? attack. Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figured mm -hmm. they'd still be making them. I'm not sure Thor. how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. Here's the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, oh, Nails is a, an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nails. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste. <laughs> the heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right then, Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Oh, what the fudge? Oh no! Everyone find some cover! Damn, just goddamn arrows? What the fudge? Mother! Oh, I was I see where the fuck is that? Come on. 
Damn. Damn. Damn, really? There we go. Nice. All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. Oh, fudge. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. We got the tools and Mr. Wayne. Charles, I found the tools. Sure. Where's Mr. Oh. Right. Shit. <clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> we gotta move fast. Come on. Hopefully they didn't fuck that guy up. God damn it! A few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skitters. Everyone knows. Except me. Hmm. Here, John. Charles! You alright carrying him? I got it. No use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Hmm. Nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh -huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right. Let's get out of here. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? We gotta go. Shit. Let's go. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. 
Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Hmm. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Damn. Shit. Oh, okay, there he goes. I thought Uncle! it took his ass for a sec. You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. You pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well... We'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Charles. Hey, how's it going? All right. Well, all right. Talk to <laughs> you later. For God's you ain't a tourist. <laughs> so I'm you guessing you're you about to get a rise from me. Posters usually go up on that. My pole. God. No wonder the country's gone to shit. You're gonna want to take that back. We don't tolerate shit like you around here. Make yourself scarce. It's all right, I'm right behind you. Sure thing. I don't want to be a bother. Glad you're smart enough to obey me. Keep moving. As dumb as you look. Enough! You come with me, or I will personally spatter your brains on the ground! Hold it! Don't move! Check.
Hello. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. A better world, a new friend, number one. <clears throat> Hello, dearie. Hello. Oh, my. You said to come call on you? My name's John Marston. I've been sending you the animals for your art. I guess you make clothes or something? Clothes? Oh, no, I don't make clothes, dearie. Come, come. What do you make? I make art, dearie. Art? Not art, but life. Life as art. Come, come meet my friends. <laughs> come, come, come. It's come. downstairs. Excuse come me if you're meet in the world you help build. <laughs> this is. <clears throat> this is. This is quite <laughs> something. Look at all this it's shit. It's my life work, dearie. An almighty struggle. Oh, I love this little fella. He makes me so happy. There's so much life in him, in a way. Look at these three playing poker. Oh, they'll never know who wins because they're all dead. doesn't look like it. Sometimes I, I, I make up little funny voices. Uh, and I make believe that they're all talking to one another. <laughs> I, I call this guy Percival. I don't know why. Uh, and these so two cool. over here, oh, they're prize fighters. Obviously, there isn't any prize. Because they're both dead. We get I tried <laughs> this with humans once during a, a cholera outbreak. Ah, no, animals are better. Their fur is well, so then. nice. And, oh. Um, yeah. I think I don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here, please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. Uh, wait, did he just you fucking and I blink? Are both like God now, in a way. What the fudge? Thanks. I should get going. Yeah, well, maybe when you die, somebody will stuff you, and maybe <laughs> heaven is just like this. Did you ever think of that, dearie? No, I never did. Be well. Hi. Oh, I thought he freaking left it for a sec. Hmm, okay, not bad. So was that it for that one? He's one of them boys down from Laramie. Say they businessmen chasing up land deals. But I know how. Hey, hey, you can quit that, huh? Never know how close you came. Baron, come on. Don't 
test me. I said cut it out. All right, I don't want this going no farther. Get out of here. If I have to knock you out cold and tell Nothing you to my horse, here. you're coming with me. You won't move with a bullet in your gut. This is your last on, damn baby. chance. Oh, God, no. What? You boys are afraid of this cookie? I can't believe this. That's what this Oh! I thought you was tough, girl. That's a girl. Bitch, I was going right. Why weren't you going fucking right? Jesus Christ, sometimes the horse in this game sucks. Get a damn thing quick! Oh shit! No, not right now! Not right now! Where the fuck is the door? Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to go back on this. Uh. Nope, never mind. I can't. I guess I lost a fucking horse, man. God damn it! This stupid ass fucking bounty. God damn it! This is pissing me off, bro. God damn it. Oh my fucking god, man. Stop fucking shooting at me! Piss off! Damn it. my damn horse shit. I don't know why the fuck I don't walk around with goddamn this shit. No, where's the damn horse reviver? Good. Some kindness. Let the Almighty decide his ultimate fate. Hey, I hear you brought this guy in. Is that true? Father, some men exist to test our faith. 
Tell her you're Baron? Who this is? Man here, Lies Green. Lies Green. Bastard with the Skinners. Countless well, if it was, a good job, them. anyway. Souvenirs of hmm. their flesh. Until, thankfully, he was stopped by a lone man. Another lost soul on their own path. Sounds like a real piece of work. Uh, yes, it <laughs> was. Okay, that's it. For in these dark times, it takes a goodly brute to put an end to men like these. Guess. I guess that's all there is. Amen. God didn't stop this fellow oh, killing. Oh shit. I did, you know. Well, well, thank you, sir. You you've done us a service. I'm trying to defuse, but it's not goddamn letting me. Hello, cat. Stay safe. God be with you. No, you got it good. So long. All right, you take care now. Can I salute you? No. What happened to you, G? Sorry about your owner. I swear it weren't me. found each other it's like a new beginning that's the way it feels somewhat at <laughs> least I've realized I still don't know where life will take me you'll figure it out even I did eventually and until you do you'll stay here okay well <laughs> I'll leave you to it then sounds good John yeah well they live together again like a big old happy man, happy family. The right way this time. Fuck Dutch and Micah. Them pieces of ass. Let me save it real quick before I forget. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and... You do the building. How did I know <laughs> you try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing is says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. She get on with this. Ah, uh, montage.
I was about to say, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't even doing anything, but it does go hard if I do it. <laughs> In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever, no matter what the weather, we're together. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard, very hard for to you, be sweetheart. something like the man you deserve. I have done something. I should give you one second, y'all. Sorry. Very silly. In an effort to impress you, and that is, I've purchased a home. I have bought a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. Hmm. I miss you and the boy. I wonder how she's going to react. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. That was John. I, I mean, Arthur, I think. Back to when we went fishing. Yours always. And I was going to say, John. I hope how... I wonder how Abigail's going to react to Charles and Uncle. <laughs> a few days later. Ooh, and a trophy. Complete a new jur... 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 jur what the fuck? Jura Salem, whatever the fuck that said. Definitely a freaking improvement. Yeah, not a bad house, John. Uncle, I thought you was. Where the hell? What? A new Jer Jerusalem. Yeah, I don't know. And the encouragement of Uncle. <laughs> Hammer the nails in with 80% accuracy. Damn. Not a bad motherfucking house. Uh, we'll search it up. I mean, we'll look around it next next stream or next playthrough what uncle is lazing about but there's plenty of work to do on the ranch for an old friend <laughs> alright uncle we'll deal, with, we'll deal with your ass on the next one alright let's save this biatch Fifth, today's the ninth, so eighty-seven point five nine, eighty-eight point two and nine. All right, now fucking bad. Thank y'all for watching, y'all. I already, I think I already said everything, or and am I? Yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. Y'all, thanks for watching. I'm going to keep this a little short and simple. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We made it past the 100 subscribers, so I appreciate y'all. If you were here before 100, comment down below, and I'll try and shout y'all out. No one ever comments, so I never shout anyone out. But come on, come on, comment. You comment. You can be the first one. You, right there. Yes, you. My finger in your mother face. <laughs> uh, don't forget to look at my playlist, y'all whole lot of the games that you, I hope you guys enjoy from the, the live stream version to the regular commentary uh, in, the, in the description there's going to be a link to the live stream like I said and my PSN, Instagram, Snapchat you guys want to add me live stream on my face cam uh, what else I kind of did all the important oh, one more important thing make sure y'all comment down below also any, get any other game you guys like to see me play or play again like one of the past ones you got to see me play again Cause I'm down. Cause I'm I'm thinking of playing God of War Ragnarok again, maybe eventually we'll see. Uh, Cause I've seen some other people play it on YouTube and it's kind of getting me into it again. <laughs> uh, also, don't forget to comment down any movie or TV show y'all that you guys will recommend me and my family. If you guys want a little more explanation on like a explanation on that, like I said earlier in the video, just go to my, one of my past videos and go to the end and one of them with explanation. But basically. We just like we watch movies and TV shows. If you know if you know what I mean, but we just missed a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit surprisingly that we missed. So in the last like maybe five to six months, we better be catching up uh, on things we missed, TV shows, movies, all that shit. So if you guys have anything, comment down below and I'll let you know if we seen it or not. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate that. Thank you for 150. Peace, y'all.